Welcome to my TED Talk. I am Mauricio Hernandez and today I will be talking about my childhood. And it was very different, to say the least. So, you already know the city, it's Monterey. And most of you have lived all your lives in this um, city. But for me, it was different. Now this is a different city and it might look similar, but it's actually in the other side of this planet. This city is Nanjing, China. This is where I got to live my whole childhood. And with this came a lot of new things, a lot of new experiences. To start off, it was a new lifestyle. Living in China is completely different from living here. The food, to start off, is different. Me and my family, when we first got there, it was very difficult for us to adapt. The first few years, they were hard. Simple things as the food. It was hard for us to find food that we liked. We weren't accustomed to this. The new traditions, such as the Dragon Ball race, the Chinese New Year, and the Moon Festival. All of these, they were different. And although it might seem, wait, different might be scary, and of course, in the beginning, it was scary for us. But we took advantage of this, and this was a whole new experience, and we took advantage of it perfectly. Why? Because we got to learn a whole new thing, whole new things. When I first lived here in Mexico for the first five years, I didn't know anything about China. I didn't know anything about the culture of Asia. But after this opportunity, I got to put myself into these traditions. And they got to learn, and it literally opened up my mind so much. It gave me a new perspective in life, and it changed the way who I am, the, the, who I am today. It changed me completely, and I'm grateful for that. Also, the, the religions. I got to learn the religions, the ways of thinking of these people. It really opened my mind. It made me more mindful of the whole world. Not only was there a new lifestyle, but when you become an expat and you live somewhere else, your whole family can't come with you. You, ha you don't have your grandma, your grandpa, you don't have your cousins. All your other friends, you leave behind. So me and my family, we got to make a whole new, bigger family. These were my friends. That's me with long hair, damn, okay. Um, so these friends, they might seem like normal friends. But when you have no cousins, when you have no family, the bond you make with these people, it's amazing. They become your family. You see them every day, at school, after school. You become so close, and I am so grateful for that. That opportunity was completely amazing. Each person here is from a different country, different lifestyle, different cultures. It was truly amazing to learn from them, even at a young age. Their ways of thinking were completely different from mine. It was truly amazing. Academic opportunities. The academic opportunities in China were different from here. For example, I got to go to this school, Nanjing International School. And what was so fun about this school, and what was so unique, and you cannot find it in much schools, is that every single student in this school was an expat. So imagine if San Roberto didn't have any Mexican, and it was just only expat. That's exactly what it was. And it was truly amazing, because the teacher was like that as well. You learn from each teacher that was from a different country. You learn their new ways of thinking, how they taught each student when we were working on a group together. You learn from them and they learn from me. It was truly an amazing experience. Also hobbies. What's so amazing about this is that when I came to China, the only hobby I had, and I didn't really like it that much at that time, is, is football. That, that's the hobby I had, soccer. But I didn't really enjoy it that much. But when I came to China in first grade, the school got me into acting. And currently, right now, I still do that. And it's literally my favorite hobby. I do it every year, and I love it with a passion. So what I'm trying to see from this story of my childhood is that you don't have to be afraid when a new opportunity arises. You have to take it. You have to make that jump right there. You have to make that leap. 
it doesn't have to be big as moving to a new country. It can be something small. Maybe any day of your life, you're like, you know what? I want to try something different. I want to change this in my daily life. I want to do this. Sometimes it might not work out. But like it did for me when my family moved to China, it, cre it opened the door for a bunch of opportunities. It helped us create new bonds with people from all around the world. It helped me learn a new culture, be more mindful of the whole world. So what I'm trying to say here is just don't be afraid to make a change in your life and take the opportunity. Thank you.